the uh, candidate information bulletin for the theory examination. I want to do more of a deep dive into talking about this candidate information bulletin uh, just to cover all, all of our bases as we are now right now focusing on how to pass the written exam. So this is the exam content and some important instructions that I really want to make sure that we cover. So it's important for you to for us to look at this, right? One thing we'll notice time allowed for the barber theory exam you have 90 minutes that's something that that is helpful for us to know and why that is is because when we're taking practice exams I want our practice exams I want your practice exams to be 90 minutes that's what I want you to do I want you to start to get used to that 90 minute time frame okay so as you're taking practice exams you're like okay I know what 90 minutes feels like right 60 questions 90 minutes that's what we're gonna be looking for whenever we do practice exams some other things you know that you want to important instructions right again we've talked about you're gonna need a picture ID it's required for entry and re-entry you know if you were to go use the restroom um, if you know following examples material prohibited you know again pro you can't have cell phones you can't have pagers tablets computers etc obviously what the and why they're saying this is because the NIC right they give their test out to a lot you know they give it out every day to a lot of people if anyone was to leak any you know actual questions from the exam you know that would be really bad for them security wise so if you do any of these things any disruptive behavior if you talk to any other candidates you could be disqualified so when you're taking your written exam, don't look at anybody, don't talk to anybody. You don't want it to make it look like you are communicating at all to anyone uh, because that is what they would, They it might look like you're cheating. And if you're cheating, then you are not going to pass that test. They're going to disqualify you. You're going to have to take it again. And maybe something else might even happen. So I just wanted to make point that out even as you're taking the written exam, don't talk to anybody, don't look at anybody. If you communicate or disrupt the testing environment, they could disqualify you, right? Give them no reason to disqualify you. As we scroll down here, uh, the content outline. Now, I didn't know about this content outline until one week before my exam. Unfortunately, my barber college never to told me about this CIB. They only told me about the practical exam. They didn't tell me about this theory exam, which was a bummer because this is going to help you be a sniper. This is going to help you be able to focus specifically on what you need to study. So let's talk about it. Following outlines the scope of content covered by the exam. The percentages represent the percentage of items from each domain. The exam is comprised of 60 items of which 50 items are weighted and contribute to the candidate's final score. Okay. Let's talk about what that means, 60 and 50, right? So there's 60 questions on the test, but only 50 questions count. Right. So 10 of those questions are the NIC is considering them like kind of they're experimenting with those questions. They want to see how candidates respond to it to try to figure out if they want to put it on a future exam or not that will be weighted. Right. So there's 60 questions. They're obviously not going to tell you which 10 questions are not weighted, but just know that you could miss a question and get it wrong, but it, it maybe it, it might not be weighted, so it actually might not count against your score. Kind of confusing, but that's what they mean when there's 60 items, but 50 of them are weighted. Weighted means that, that it counts and contributes to your final score. Now, let's do some math here, right? So I base this off of it's a 75% to pass the exam. So if we go out of 50 questions that are weighted, you go 50 times 0.75, that's going to be 37.5. So we'll round down just to be safe and we'll call it 37. So that means that you can miss how many? 13 questions. Okay. You can miss 13 questions. Why is that important? That's important because as you're going through your exam, I don't want you to freak out if there's a question you don't know the answer to. Okay. You, that could actually happen 13 times. You could you can guess on any of them and even if you miss 13 questions uh you could still pass or wait sorry 12 12 i want to be safer and round up to do 38 uh, frick. we'll axe that part okay so let's do a little bit of math here so if you do 50 50 items times 0.75 
0.75 would be a 75%. That's a passing grade. That's 37.5. To be safe, we'll round up and we'll call it 38. So that means that you could miss how many questions? 12, right? 50 minus 38 is 12. So you can miss 12 questions on the exam. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because as you're going through your exam and you're, you know, maybe come across a question, you're like, oh, I don't know the answer to this question. That's okay. You could actually have, that could happen 12 times. You could, you could guess on 12 questions and you could actually get 12 of them wrong and you could still pass. So I want you to have a little bit of cushion there, right? You don't necessarily need to be confident about every single answer right when you pass they actually don't tell you how many questions you got right right when i passed they just said you passed here's your license it doesn't matter what you get all that matters is that you pass when i told you c's get degrees c's get licenses in this situation okay you can miss 12 all right so as you're going through don't freak out uh, again, it, think of that number as num- as that magical number of 12. You know, you go through, you know, if there's, if you guessed on 10, if you guessed on eight, if you guessed on six, you know, you're in really good shape. All right. So when we're taking that test, keep that number in your mind. Now they break this down. It's so helpful, right? 35% of the questions are going to be on scientific concepts. They tell you exactly what they mean by that, right? Infection. Identify how disease and infection are caused and transmitted. Apply principles of infection control, right? They, they break down literally everything that they're going to be asking you on the test. I found out about this CIB a week before my exam. I'm telling you now, hopefully this is months or you know weeks in advance, and you have plenty of time to cover everything that's on this exam outline or the the Barber Theory CIB. Now, how you can spend your time is just go through this, you know, section by section, line by line. When you've covered something, cross it out, ax it out, highlight it or whatnot, so that by the time you are taking your exam, this everything here is crossed off, all right, because you've you've covered everything. Um, So anyways, I just wanted to do more of a deep dive into the written exam and really highlight you need to spend time here, go through every single line, be honest with yourself again on what, which ones are you not confident in, which ones are you confident in, and use help, let this help you to figure out where you need to spend your time. The bottom here, I give you just some sample questions. Uh, it's just going to give you kind of an example, some sample questions of what you're actually going to see on the NIC. You know how they're worded um, and and things like that. So definitely worth going through this practical exam. They you know practical or sample sample question sample questions, and they'll even give you the answers there. So want to do more of a deep dive here on the CIB for the the theory exam. Hope this is helpful. Um, as we're talking about how to pass the written exam, which again has the lower pass rate, right? 50% pass rate in California. So let's not underestimate this test. Let's spend a lot of time uh, prepping. But what's good is that we know exactly what they're going to be asking us. Uh, They tell us right here. All right. Let that build some confidence in us so that when you go in, uh, you know that you've done what you needed to do in order to pass. All right. Sweet. Let's move on to the next section.